Howdy y'all. I'm in one of my herb gardens collecting herbs and such. I just harvested some lemon balm and some parsley and sweet marjoram and now I'm going after yonder chamomile. So I'm trying to decide do I want lemon balm tea tonight or do I want chamomile? And I think I'm going to have chamomile because I had lemon balm last time. All right, I'm going to snip these off and I'll be back. Something snapping off my little tabs. I don't know what. Chickens haven't been in this herb garden in quite a while. Got a fence around it, but okay. Here I've got a little bit of chive growing. I forgot to um, check my other chives. This is onion right here. Got rhubarb right there. And I just picked me some lemon balm, some chamomile, and sweet marjoram. I got it here in my herb basket. See April Wolf? It's my herb basket. And then when all them other chickens start laying, it'll become my big chicken basket and then I'll use the small one as my herb basket. I'm gonna switch. I even have herb scissors. Yeah, you know it. Okay, let's go on to the next step. But first, I have to show you my pretty tiger lilies. They're finally blooming. My cousin, April Freeze, gave me those. I brought them home years ago, like, I don't know, 13 years ago or so. Oh, not that long ago, 10 years ago. And I just lazily stuck them on the ground there, like a half thought about digging a hole, stuck them down in there and watered them a couple times, just let them go. They come back year after year. I don't have to fuss over them at all. Just come so pretty. Okay, that's that. Okay, I'm in the other herb garden, such as it is. It's very small, but next year it'll be a lot bigger. I see I got some chives growing here, some over there, some out of camera range. So let's start with that, get my chives snipped. There's nothing like fresh chives. Oh, they're good. Be careful so I don't get it mixed in with the other stuff. You just trim it. It looks like grass, but not. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Good for cooking. Okay, there's another hunk. Hook up yonder. It's starting to spread a little bit finally. My parsley is spreading big time. Okay. Oh. Hello. Okay. Right here that you're looking at, that's red Reuben basil. So, got a couple leaves here I need to trim off, get rid of. One's getting heavy and coming off. We're going to take that one. Ah, smells delicious. them. Hopefully those will turn red. Okay. Yeah, I better take those two. I better. The leaves are getting pretty ripe. Then right here, I've got sweet basil. Oh, my lanta, that stuff smells so wonderful. It's like heaven. It's aromatherapy. One, two. You're supposed to count the notches when you go up, but my basil's not real big, so I don't have to go four up. 
because I'm only at four right now. I don't like to wait too long between cuttings because being outdoors, I'm afraid that the critters are going to get to it. Now, if I had a big bundle of basil or something, then it'd be different. But I just started out growing a herb garden this year, started inside, then moved it outside. I didn't know what I was doing, so I just started a little bit at a time. But now that I know, kind of know what I'm doing, yeah, next year we're going to have a plethora of plants. A whole lot of plants. Wait, you just take... You want to use shears that are clean, you know, sanitized or whatever, because you don't want to get diseases in your herbs. That's very, can be done very easily, I guess. That's what I've been told. So, yeah, just use clean scissors. I've got other scissors for other things, but I got these specifically for herbs. Then that way I just keep it with my basket or my herb table in the house. Okay, that's all I'm going to take from that today. All right, let's go see what else we can do.